just want to talk to you today a little bit about the electrical panel. Now, this is the electrical panel of my home. I've got the black feed here, which is the main feed of power from the meter, which is just outside of here. The meter is where the main feed was brought to first, so they can meter the power, then out of the meter to come to here. So, fairly typical situation in every home. It's going to have an electrical panel. Now, I show you lots of tricks and tips for running wires, setting boxes, and doing lighting, layout, etc. Um, for me, um, and recommend for you at home, I would hire a professional to tie in your breakers or tie in your feeds that you've wired out on, on your project. Um, that being said, um, it is just the safer route to go. Um, this is a very dangerous area. Take the cover off here. If you're using the tools wrong or something like that, you can cause the power to arc and you can get yourself really hurt. So, just a recommendation that you don't do your own panel tie-ins unless you know what you're doing. But to know what you're doing, you probably need to be a journeyman electrician. So, um, some other things I want to go over, as, as you've probably seen before in the past, most electrical panels, once you open them up, are quite confusing. I've got over here on this side a chart which tells me what each individual breaker does. Um, in mine, it's fairly easy to tell. This is a newer model, so I'm able to really, you know, locate area 7 right there and realize that the top breaker is the dishwasher and the bottom breaker is the fireplace. So, quite easy to navigate around on this panel because of its labeling system. Now, what you might see in your home or in other homes that you've been in is a very confusing panel. So, the chart is way down low here. It's hard to really read or understand what each breaker does. So, what I suggest doing if you're unfamiliar with it and just for the safety of the people around your house, because if the breaker goes off and they can't tell what breaker has gone off, then they start flicking around in there and it can be quite dangerous. So I would suggest running some tape right down the sides of the, of the breakers themselves and individually writing what each of those breakers does in full throughout the house. So if this one breaker down here does the nook lighting and all the plugs in the nook, then you want to label that. Nook, nook lighting and plugs. Now some electricians when they are labeling the panel are very broad with their explanation so they might just write nook but you're not aware if it's the nook lighting or the nook receptacle. So just go through your home, make yourself an accurate list of labeling each of these breakers and you will ensure safety when somebody's coming down to look at the electrical panel. Another big thing that people don't realize about breakers are that if a breaker is shut off, it's all the way to the one side. Now, if a breaker has flipped off because of a power issue with the, the amount of draw that your appliance is taking or for whatever reason, it will be halfway between. It doesn't go to the full shut off point. So when you're coming down to your panel to look, for a breaker that just flicked off, which is the number one reason that people would come down to their panel to have a look, look for a breaker that is in the halfway position and that's likely the one that has just flipped off. So instead of going through and just clicking all of them, make sure you, you look for the one that has been flipped to the halfway point and if there's breakers in your panel that are in the off position, you don't want to be flicking those on. So just a little safety tip, relabel your panel, make sure you know what it's all about, um, and, and that will ensure some safety throughout your house. Okay, this 15 amp breaker is in the off position. Now it's in the on position. 
And if I was to trip it or short it out so that it flipped over, you can see it's not in the full off position, it's in the mid point position. So I would easily be able to figure out that that was the one that needs to be reset. Okay? So again, when they're off, they're there. When they short out, they're there. So just a tip, might not be with all the breakers, but I'm pretty sure that it's with the majority of them.